two. Oh, I was close. Almost got it to five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Oh, man. Praise God. It is Sunday. Sunday, it Sunday. Um, hold on. Let's see something. See that. So, Sunday to Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So it was texting me. I'm I'm excited about all the things. Hey guys, uh, man, it's uh, been a whirlwind of a week, um, amen. But a powerful week nonetheless. It has just been uh, supernatural um, in everything God is doing and all that God has in store. And you know what? I just um, you know I want to pray before we start this thing because you know here is all in all. God is everything. God is all we ask, think imagine he is bigger than everything and um, and I, I love the aspect that we can just chime into his presence right from the very start of anything that we do um, you know his anointing is there for us his anointing is there to equip us to empower us through his Holy Spirit to do amazing amazing things and um, so let's pray real quick and then we'll kind of get rolling right into this thing fast and furious because I want you guys involved today. So if you come and join in us uh, live, we want you involved. Um, you know, I know it's Sunday. I know a lot of people probably chilling from from church. But if you're watching this, plug in. I want you on the on this uh, live in comments, um, or if you want to come in video, we can put you right on the screen with us, which is really cool. Um, all you have to do is is request it when you're on there, and then we'll uh, let you live. So. Um, Father, I thank you so much right now for everything that you do. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this awesome week this has been and and what we're going to share today and what we're going to go over today and how we're going to plug in. And, and Jesus, I thank you for everything you've done for us on the cross, for everything that you do in the right hand of the Father and uh, you know, interceding and, and making plans for us in eternity, God. And I thank you for your Holy Spirit that comes upon us and it works in and through us so that we can you know reach out to others I thank you right now that your presence is real your presence is here and you plan great things through your people we love you Lord in Jesus name so I thank you guys for for um, joining us today and um, you know this has been an awesome week we've been able to sh to to first of all it started out with um so if you're you're coming at the tail end of this you know you want to go back onto our web page um so i mean at the bottom of this i think there's a no not at the bottom of this if you scroll down on our page you'll be able to see a lot of the videos that we put up um you know from the day one of the announcement of starting this ministry so that was exactly one week ago today that we announced that we're starting Way of Life Ministries International. Um, that and I and I want to clarify because see, I had some questions on that, um, and I had some people, you know, come to me and say, "Hey, you know, so the name of the ministry." They wanted to understand clarity a little bit of some things. I don't know if they just caught different pieces of different videos or whatnot, but so Way of Life Ministries International. That is our our ministry. We're founding. Okay, Becky and I are fo are founding this ministry. And it is going to be, uh, that's when you think of this ministry, hey, Ma, good to see you on. <laughs> faithful woman, faithful woman. We love seeing you every day plugging in, and thank you for joining us. So um, I will say this, uh, we're going to share with, you know, later on, I, I want you guys to just, you know, um, as I started out this thing, we're doing this a little different. We're going to kind of recap some things, but we're also going to, um, we're going to have some time of where I want to ha hear any you know, prayer requests, any praise reports, any um, words that you have, anything that you feel you want to share today, we're opening this up to like an almost an open forum. I just felt led of doing that today, you know, because there's an impact when we're all together, when we're a body of believers, when we're doing things together, God is with us, you know, and he says in his word that when two or, or more are gathered in his name, there he is in the midst, right mm -hmm. in here. And so nowadays we have uh, Facebook, we have YouTube, we have, um, I've, I heard Instagram, I've heard other platforms that you can stream all at the same time. We're looking into those, um, you know, and different things that are really cool out there. Those are ways to connect with people and it's great. Um, so 
with that said though, what's really great about the spiritual realm that's even better than, than streaming here on Facebook, than streaming on YouTube or any of that, is the fact that God's spirit has no distance in the spiritual realm. There is no distance in the spiritual realm of what God does. And so, so we want you to have the ability to plug in and chime in on here, to be able to share testimonies, to be able to share witness, to be able to, to you know, share any, any words that you have. I mean, over the last five days of listening to us and sharing our vision, you know, we love hearing from people because, you know, it's important that we work with each other and build each other up in the most holy of faith and, and, and trusting in God to do things. And, um, so, so as I was mentioning earlier, um, what's really interesting about the ministry. So when I had somebody ask, you know, Way of Life Ministries International, that is what we founded. Um, that is what we are starting. And like I said, a week ago, we announced that as the name of the ministry. Um, has it, have, getting it you know, put in place, incorporated, getting everything all set up. This is the launch pad. This is the uh, hub of what we're going to be doing um, from the moment of here based in Denver as what you call the world headquarters, so to speak. Big vision, amen? Big vision. Big vision of what God wants to do in this ministry. And, um, and so Way of Life Ministries International is the headquarters, and then here locally, on a local scale, we have Overflow Church, okay? Uh, and Overflow Church is the name of the ministry that we have, that are, is, is a ministry inside Way of Life Ministries International that is, a, is, is basically a connection there. And so that is our local level reach to the city, to the state of Colorado, Okay. So, so if you had any questions, Way of Life Ministries International is not the name of the church, it's the name of our ministry, and then the name of the church is Overflow Church, um, you know, for that. That's going to be, uh, you know, part of this. So I, I thought about sharing today just to kind of, um, you know, tag on to that. So in this vision of, of Way of Life Ministries International, we have, um, you know, we, this is what I really believe God has just shown me in the vision of what he's planning to do with this ministry. Now we're talking, this is from start to when the time comes that he opens it up for us. So, so starting out, Way of Life Ministries International and Overflow Church. And then on top of that, we'll have a ministry for leadership training. We'll have a, meter, a, a, a ministry that will be dedicated to, as we talked about yesterday, um, dedicated to the training and the development of those in the body of Christ that want to go out and do things to be a launching pad. So we'll have that leadership training program in that side, but then we're going to also have leadership training programs, um, you know, in essence for business development, for people that want to grow in leadership. Because I don't know about you, I'm tired of going to customer service places and the customer service is not customer service anymore. Uh, businesses just don't seem to run the same anymore, you know, and and a lot of that is, I, I guess, people are just tired. They're tired of the way people treat each other. So as our ministry develops, we're going to have leadership program trainings. That's going to be another ministry uh, in the future. Um, hey, Papa D, blessing to you, blessing to you as well. And um, so we're going to be having a um, and that part of a ministry as well. So that'll be a third part of the ministry underneath Walmy. And then we'll have a homeless outreach program. That will probably even come sooner than the leadership side because we want to help, you know, feed people that are hungry, uh, you know, encourage the inner cities to plug in and press into God because, you know what, they're hungry and thirsty for more than what they know. And, and, um, and so we have an ability to reach out to them, you know, and, and God says for in his word, multiple, multiple scriptures about not forsaking the homeless, that we're always going to have them with us. And um, but the fact of the matter is, is we are to take care of them. We are to help them. We are to encourage them. We are to pray for them. We're to lift them up. We're to allow the Spirit of God to work through us to be able to touch their lives and give them the reality of all Jesus is, you know, and help them in any way that we can. You know, God, I believe in these last days is going to pour out of his finances, not just in ministries to go out and minister to people, but of his people so that, you know, that there's a scripture, as we know, that says the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. And if that wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just and we are just in Christ, we are just in through through everything Christ did and we are righteous, then that, that wealth is laid up for us. Then what do we do with that funds? We help support other ministries and we also help, you know, provide for the homeless. We help outreach. We help in many ways because God knows He can trust His faithful. Amen. Amen. 
And, and so the hope, uh, homeless side of things, I have a couple name ideas for it, but you know, that'll come as we get going. Hey, Jerome, Geronimo, I forgot, you know, cause you know, you have your name, this, the difference. That's right. It's Jay, Jay Geronimo Wilson. <laughs> It's been a long time, man, uh, since seeing you, but I appreciate you jumping in. Hey, bud. Um, and, and, you know, so, so with the app, that in, in mind, we want to have an outreach program. We want to have that going not too far distant after we start the church. Um, because we know that will be a way of doing it. We have visions of that from, you know, one of the, one of the things I was sharing with somebody in our church today is, um, in the church we're currently attending before we start overflow is, is, um, we were talking about ministries, we were talking about outreach, and I, I told him, I said, one of the visions I have for this ministry is to be able to go out in the inner cities and go out to these people, invite them into church, get them to come in, give them vouchers so that when they come to church, they can not only receive of the Holy Spirit, but then we're going to bless them with food that they can take with them, stuff that's non-perishable, stuff that they can have with them to keep, to feed them for a week, you know? Yeah. And if we're doing that, we're doing what the Bible says about taking care of the homeless and helping them. Hey, blessing, Steve. I'm glad you came on because I want you to stick around. I want to hear your testimony today, if you're willing. <laughs> we want to bring you on and let you share some of that today. Um, we were talking about in the beginning, for those of you just joining us, um, we were talking about that I'm going to be sharing just kind of a recap of some of this mission and some of the vision and some of the, the plans for WAMI and uh, all of that. So go back and listen to the beginning after this. Um, you know, and hear at least the parts that you missed. But, but what we're going to do is we want to open it up like an open forum thing. We want, we want people plugging in and being able to speak onto this platform here today for whether it's prayer requests, whether it's testimonies, whether it's encouragements, um, what, whether a praise report or something God is doing in your own personal life and, um, or if you have something you want to share with us regarding our ministry. I'm totally fine with that. We're going to bring that, bring you guys on and allow you to have that opportunity today to do so. I've really felt like today's the day for us to do that. So good to have you on. Um, so, so on top of the homeless ministry side of that, so we have the church, we have uh, Underway of Life Ministries International. We have the, that's the global outreach scale. That's when, when we'll be going and traveling. That's when we'll go to other churches. We'll be ministering throughout other, other churches in their cities and going in outreach and preaching and teaching and, and, um, and going out and leading souls to Jesus. Um, and these different ministries and, and for, on a global scale. That's the w uh, Way of Life Ministries International um, side of it. Then the Church Overflow Church um, is our church that we are planting here in Denver to reach the city and reach the state. And, uh, and so, so guess what? So we want to show you this. Um, I'm giving you guys a sneak peek. So you guys are watching this today and, of course, those afterwards too. Um, when you guys are watching this today, you're going to get a sneak peek of our of of of, of Overflow Church. Uh, we are in the process of developing um, that page for Facebook that'll connect, of course, um, in in our ministry, and then uh, and then we are going to. Um, uh, sorry, guys, can't talk and do this at the same time. Then we are going to, um, at the same time, or, you know, we're going to put it out live, you know, eventually as it gets closer to the, the launch. So here, I'm going to hold it up so hopefully everybody can see it. But sneak peek, you ready? I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's probably backwards. There you go. So it's backwards to you, I'm sure, but it says Overflow Church. So if you look here, we've got the, the, the sign and the symbol of the, the this is basically uh, sim to symbolize the overflow of God's abundance, the the, the Wave. wave of his anointing, the wave of his power, the wave of everything that he flows in and through us, and that we can be an overflow. As he overflows to us, we can reach out to others. So that's the logo we developed. Becky and I worked hard together to do. She drew it up on uh, her ideas and on, and I tweaked it all on, on um, Photoshop and kind of made this thing out. So we're excited about that, and, uh, and uh, we'll be continuing to develop that page and get it ready as we go, um, the other logo is um, right here, and that's this is um, right here, if you can see. So it says uh, Overflow Church right in the middle of that. I know it's probably not focusing that well on it, but, um, but that way people, when we have our broadcast, you can imagine right here, put some vision to it. Come on, put some vision. <laughs> so right there in the bottom logo, it won't be as big and dominant, but it'll be like that in the, um, and show in the, the church. In you know um, broadcasting as we broadcast live, it'll come up like right on the corner for you, so you can see Overflow Church. Any messages we type up or put in, anytime we're live via the church. 
uh, for the Ministry of Way of Life. You guys have seen the logo, obviously, because you're on our page. So we have both of those. And and, and just kind of touch on Way of Life Ministries uh, logo, what's cool about that is is um, with the cross, the world on the cross, um, to symbolize the, you know, the effect of what Jesus did for us and in this world and for us to globally reach. And that's why I have that guy holding up the world there as well is because it's kind of twofold symbolization of what Jesus did, but also what he is, or, is ordaining us as people in body of Christ to go and do, to go into the world and preach the gospel. So, so anyway, so then um, the leadership training programs, as I mentioned about that and, and developing you know, uh, business owners, business people, because, you know, the thing is, is if we can teach them how to be, thank you, if we can teach them how to actually um, go out and and uh, flow in customer service and outreach in their own companies, we know God will bless it. Because, I mean, I'm tired of going to places that, that customer service is just lacking. And, and if we can help develop leaders, um, that is my degree is leadership and organizational development. I love teaching people about how to be good leaders. And um, so, so we'll be incorporating that as a ministry, the homeless ministry that we talked about. Um, and then houses of, uh, I don't know what we're going to call it yet, but uh, we're going to basically have home groups. That's another aspect of the ministry. So every day of the week, there will be somewhere to plug for every believer that comes in and and is a part of our ministry they'll be able to plug into homes they'll be able to go to somebody's house every single day of the week we'll strategically have people play so if they want to go monday through friday to somebody's house there will be basically a church house you know hey isaac good to see you man um you know or here is he on here checking in on us and um so so having that aspect of people to plug in is, is very important for discipleship having community, having togetherness as a family. I mean, it, you know, I, I've, I've grown up in church all my life and I can tell you how many times, you know, uh, I've been to churches and when you walk in, there's no spirit of unity. There's no spirit of love. There's no like connectivity there. Big and small churches alike. I mean, small churches are a little bit easier to get to know people, but um but, you know, in that aspect of it, when there's nothing going on outside of Sundays, it's really hard for people to plug in. And we want to be a, a branch of that to be able to help others have church, um, you know, uh, yeah, outside. Hey, Abby, um, to have church, you know, outside of church on Sundays to be able to grow and develop and, and disciple each other um, and allow the Holy Spirit to move in their own homes. Because they're, it's going to be just the same kind of spirit that is in in our church and flowing through the ministry. It's going to be the same spirit that's flowing through the people in their homes, Amen. And we're so we're going to be very strategic about that. So anyway, so that's the facets of the ministry um, as of Way of Life Ministries as a whole, as the founding uh, ministry for all of this. So. Um, so, you know, just to kind of recap a little bit of what we are, you know, have vision and what we've been speaking over the last five days um, is, is just powerful. And if you've missed any of these videos, go back and listen. Go back and watch them. Not now. Stay on us for now because <laughs> we want you involved here in a little bit. We want to hear from you guys. Um, but, uh, but we want to, you know, to kind of just recap this vision because Way of Life Ministries International, we're not a ministry to just go out there and, and do what we feel. We're going out there to plug into what the Holy Spirit wants us to do. And, and I read this um, earlier you know, in our mission statement. We're in the process of filling that in. We're in the process of uh, putting that together for our, our um, you know, obviously all the legal side of thing, things as well, but for the uh, website. So when we have the website launch, we're going to, you know, make sure people know about it. Uh, we'll send you guys an, a link to it once we get that up. But but the, the thing is, is I wanted to point out on here is that, you know, the one purpose in mind for us is to really focus on on allowing the Holy Spirit to move and have his way, period. And so here at Walmy and Overflow Church, we are going to operate with that mindset from the very beginning. We're going to make sure we're under direction, of full direction. When I say full direction of the Holy Spirit, this means that if, if I come and wake up on a Sunday and get ready to go to church, and if the Spirit of God is not flowing in it, and I stand behind that pulpit, I go to open my mouth and nothing good is about to come out, 
And because of, and when I say nothing good, meaning nothing of the Holy Spirit is about to come up, I will not operate it. I'm serious because I care enough about people. I care about enough about the about the way God wants to show His love to people and show His anointing on the people and show His power to people's lives and touch and change them and use them and feel them and heal them and and do mighty works in in and in through them that. I will not speak it if it's not the Holy Spirit. We're not going to operate that way. So we want to make sure that every day, hey Jessica, how are you guys? God bless you. I hope you guys are having fun on your vacation. We miss you like crazy. Uh, but thank you for taking time to plug in with us. So, so we're, um, you know, just in talking about this thing, we want to make sure that we're operating in full authority and full power of the Holy Spirit in every way and in every aspect, or we don't operate. See, there's a hungry and thirsty people out there. So as we're reaching out through these different various parts of the ministry, you know, through the through the homeless outreaches, through the the uh, the home groups, through the leadership trainings, through the uh, outreach hubs, through the church, through the whole ministry as a whole, na- and nationwide, central to the city, excuse me, central to the city, you know, citywide, statewide, nationwide, and globally. We do this with the intent and the 100% full direction of the Holy Spirit every single way. This is why He's been providing. It's been awesome. If you missed out yesterday, go back and listen to what God has been doing. Being able to lead somebody over the, in, over the phone to the Lord is an awesome experience. I thought that was just an amazing opportunity, divine uh, you know, intervention and uh, of the Holy Spirit, amen, to be able to do that. And then on top of that, being able to see that God has just been positioning, you know, uh, people and the and the just the heart and the giving that people have been pouring into this ministry already for us to be able to go and do, and it's just been amazing and it, it encourages us and it shows us that God has planned this, and if He's planned it, He provides it the entire step of the way and He Amen. ordains it. Amen. So so um, you know, as far as the the mission statement, what we believe, we're going to have all of that posted because we want people to be in agreement with that. Um, be blessed you too, Abby. Thanks for popping in. And, and so as, um, those things come in, we're going to have the, you know, the, the, the basics of everything that people believe and, you know, what we believe specifically in regards to Jesus, to God, to the Holy Spirit, to the living Word of God, to the infallible Word of God, to salvation, to the ways of the, of, of what we should do as Christians and, um, and where we reach and how we do this. So I thought today I, I would kind of share that, how we do this. Um, uh, and, and that's kind of what I share. I'm sorry, that's what I shared already, the how we do this side of this, of the five different types of ministries that we're going to be putting in place as God opens up the opportunities for us to do so. And we even have a few places we're going to look at tomorrow we're excited about, um, you know, for looking into to where we're going to launch. But uh, where we are reaching out. So Denver... Um, why we're doing this? God is is first of all, He's a loving, powerful, and big God. I could stop it right there. Loving, powerful, and big God, <laughs> because He is. I mean, His power. When we think about all that He has, and all that He does, and all that He wants to do in and through His people, He is powerful. He is mighty. He is amazing. And I, and I even said this to say this because you know a big part of our vision is John 14, 12. These works that I do shall you do also. And he's talking about he that believes. These works shall, shall you do also because I go to the Father. I'm, I mean, Jesus was going to sit at the right hand of the Father so that we can do these works and so that we can be a, a little Christ is what the word Christian means, right? We are little Christ to go and do and be a part of everything that he's called and said for we would be able to go and do. And so in that, that one purpose in mind, we are we are thinking about the big the, the size of God and how he uh, how he does this. And I actually spoke to somebody today, and they were like, you know, I'm so hungry and so thirsty for the things of God. I'm so hungry to see God move in my life. I'm so hungry to plug in. I'm so hungry, and and at times I don't feel the power of God. I don't feel the presence of God, and I'm just trying to figure this whole thing out. I'm on a journey. Amen. Amen. That's a great place to be. And I told this person, I said, you know what's interesting about all of this? 
See, the Spirit of God works in and through us for a main specific task, a main specific reason. And that power, that working anointing, that power and the presence of the Almighty God is with that purpose to draw others to Him, to draw people to Him, to draw the lost to Him. First of all, and foremost, he wants people saved. He wants people in eternity. God loved us so much. And when he created man and when he created woman, when he created all of it, he said it is good. In Genesis, we read that. It is good. Amen. Yeah. And so he made everything he made. It said in the word of God in the very beginning, right from Genesis, it said that he did this for his pleasure. He wanted a relationship with us right from the beginning. He wanted us to be a part of Him right from the beginning. He wanted to pour out everything of all He is and all He wants us to be right from the very start. And we know how that worked out in the beginning with the fall of man. But He it never changed His mind about that. He never changed the fact that He wants to show His love to us. He wants to reveal His love in, in, through us. He wants to, to draw people close to Him so that not only to have an eternal home with Him, that He prepares for people that love Him, because we know that to be true of eternity, but also that we may have and do all the truth His Word says that we can have and do here on earth. Here on earth. Amen? We've got to believe that everything that God created was for a purpose and that everything that he said is good is good and everything he said we can do, we can do. It's the infallible word of God. Amen? Amen. And so we want to make sure that, that we are plugging into that. We do this because of that. We want to share that. We want to share that God's plans are big. We want to share how big He is and how much He wants to use people and, and doing things through them entirely as they're hungry and thirsty, as they lift their hands, as they worship God, as they, you know, we, we look in Scripture, it says, um, and, I, and I, it just talks about in Scripture that we may decrease that Christ that God may increase in us. And that's my prayer every single day. If I had the, the visual, and I actually have the visual to do this right now, so you don't even look at me. I don't need you looking at me. I need you looking at Jesus. I need you seeing Jesus. And if you're not seeing Jesus in my eyes, if you're not seeing Jesus you know, you know, shining on my life, if you're not seeing Jesus when you look at me, then you're you're not then you know what? I'm not doing something right. Amen. I want and my heart's desire for this ministry and for everything in this thing is that when others look at us, they see Jesus. That they know that there is a God that loves them, that wants to do an amazing work through them, that wants to pour of His Spirit on them, that wants to touch their lives so that they will never be the same, that wants to refresh them, that wants to, to lift them up, that wants to encourage them, that wants to heal them, that wants to touch them. There are people sick that have no way of going to a physician. There, have pe there are people that are dying that, that don't know what they're going to do. There's cancer trying to take over bodies, but it ought not be so. Amen. Amen. Intimacy with Jesus, you got it right on, on, the, on the nail, right on the head, Jason. Glad you guys popped in. You, you know, it's all about, you know, that intimacy is where it starts. That, that time with Jesus, I mean, every day, you know, my wife and I, and I joke with her because I, I love the fact that she, she loves to, to watch um, other ministries and, and watch, you know, men and women of God that are sharing of the word and power and strength and authority and anointing and everything else. I mean, we, we follow like-minded people all the time and that's who we watch. And, um, and, I, and I, I love the fact she's on it every single day. We don't, we really don't watch. I mean, there's maybe one show. It's a documentary on, on Netflix. We've been watching sometimes every now and then, right? But the main thing we've been plugging in is the things of God. We've been plugging in the Word of God every single day, every single time we have opportunity, every single moment. When we're not watching that, we, as a pastor or a minister preaching, we're praying ourselves. We're reading ourselves. We're getting in the Word. So I joke with her sometimes and I say, hey, you know, baby, that relationship that we're going to gain an ability to hear from God is not coming just from the he listening and watching the preachers. We got to plug in on ourselves. Amen. And we've got to make sure that every day we're giving our hearts, our lives to Christ and allowing him to work in and through us. Amen. It's about that personal relationship that that 
that growing in into intimacy, as Jason said, with God every single day and uh, going out there. So we do this to demonstrate the love of God. We do this. This is why we do this ministry. This is why we're going into this ministry. That's why we're launching this thing. He's going to use his people in this final hour to do amazing things through his anointing, performing the works that Jesus did and greater works as John 14, 12 said. I keep going on to that because that's what this, this is, you know, we are going to be using these works. We are going to be flowing in these works. So as the spirit gives us the ability to do so, we're going to do that because we know that it draws people to him. We know that people it draws people to him. So when that person came in and said, I'm hungry and thirsty, and, I, and I'm just trying to figure out this walk with God right now, I'm trying to figure out what there is of more of Jesus, what more of God is there so that I can be able to go and do, and, and, and so I can feel his presence, so I can know he, he's talking to me and everything else. Because in the, the testimony that was just amazing, uh, uh, she didn't share it with me, but my wife knows of this, uh, this testimony of, of how... Um, it was her daughter, you said? Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead and, and share it. Do you think she'd be all right? I don't know. Okay, we won't share that because I don't know if this person would be all right with sharing it. But the fact of the matter is this person had their, their, their a family member, I believe it was, that was healed to show who the reality of God, I mean, the amazement. Could you imagine if you're struggling, you're trying to figure out, God, is it is, is really you? Is there power and demonstration? He goes and heals your your ear. As David was, um, you know, uh, professing the other day, he was starting to feel signs of, the, of his hearing being healed in the name of Jesus. And we call that forward and we say it, let it be complete in the name of Jesus. You know, and and people that are, are hurting and sick, you know, imagine, and we don't, and, and is, this is the part of it, the faith aspect of things, right? Imagine what that means to a non believer or somebody that is trying to grow spiritually in God. What that means when we operate in the things of heaven, when we operate and we allow his Holy Spirit to work in and through, in and through, imagine what that testimony is like when that person's life is touched and changed right then and there. Amen. And then on top of that, they'll be able to go and be conduits of his anointing and his presence. Because I'll tell you what, when when people come to me and say healing's not for today, I tell them it's too late because I've been healed. Amen. I've seen people healed when laying hands on the sick and see them recovery and, and I mean recover instantaneously as the power of God comes upon their life. Is somebody come too late to tell me it's not for today? Sorry. You can tell me it's not of God all you want, but the fact of the matter is is I've seen it, I've witnessed it. It says it in his word and it's the truth. So now because of that ability, I have the ability to pour out into others of everything God has done in my life and go and lay hands on others. Knowing that when when it's not me first of all doing it, that it's the spirit of the living God, the same power that raised Christ from the dead that dwells in us, gives us that very ability to go and be conduits of everything he's done in us. Amen? Amen. So as testimonies arise in us, as healings arise in us, as miracles arise in our own lives, as, as, as the power of God comes in and through us to be able to go and be conduits of his anointing and of his power, then, then we have that same ability to go and do the same. And, and so that is why we do this. And that's the way we're going to operate, period. So if you don't like it, you know, <laughs> we love you. We will still love you. We will still honor you. We will still, still, you know, pray for you. And we will believe God is going to show himself real in an amazing, a mighty way so that you know he is, uh, he is who he says he is in his word. But we're going to continue to operate in it. We're going to continue to operate in the things of God and the anointing every single time. Period. Amen. Amen. So we shared on part one of the, the works. We shared on John 14, 12. We shared on the fact that these works are available to us as believers today. You know, Christ in his word, he didn't say it died with the last apostles. He didn't. He said it, 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 it was for anybody who believes, and we believe that. So go back and listen to that vision. But go back and go back and listen to what God says we can do in his word. Get in his word. Don't take it for my, my benefit. I don't have the Bible here. I can start slapping it up and down again like I was doing the other day. But, but, but the fact of the matter is, is get in the word for yourselves. 
plug in. Ask the Spirit of God to lead you and to guide you and to speak. And That's right. Amen. To let the Lord speak and flow through our talk. Amen. Amen. And through our walk and our song. Amen. And, and so, so getting in the Word for ourselves and really digging into Scripture. The, full, the really cool thing about Google now these days is if you don't know where to find it in Scripture, go on Google and type in Scripture that talks about uh, blind eyes being opened. And when you do that, you're going to have scriptures, and then turn in your own Bibles to read it because you don't want to make sh- you want to make sure the 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 internet's not internet's not changing things on you. You know, uh, wouldn't be surprised um, if people put the word in the way they think it sounds. Um, so so get in scriptures for yourself and plug in and start getting in the word. This is how it starts to begin. This is how it develops in you. I shared that with that person this morning, and I told them I said, look, here's the thing about all of this. When it became real for me. When the Holy Spirit and the working of the, the working power that John 14, 12 says that we can do, when that became reality in my own life was when I started going out and witnessing to others. That's when that became reality to me. So I said, maybe it just is so be that, that you just need to start learning how to, to operate in, in reaching others for Jesus. And as you do, the Spirit of the Lord can come upon you right then and there. And the next thing you know, they're being healed. Not because of anything you are, but because of what Jesus is doing through you. If you believe just a little bit, right, then you will be able to do those works. And um, so I've seen it time and time again, knocking on doors. I mean, I, I mean, I could tell testimony after testimony of that. How going and knocking on a door one time, I, I, I remember specifically, it was just an amazing experience. This one lady, when we knocked on the door, I, I knocked on her door and I said, hey, you know, we're, we're a church in the area. We're coming out to let people know we're doing this crusade in the area. It was a... Uh, in, in the Tam- I think it was this one it was in Tampa but um, when I was knocking on the door inviting them out said hey just wanted to let you know before I go um, are there any prayer requests that you have and you know God loves you and he has a wonderful plan for your life and I want to see if there's anything right now we can pray and believe because he wants to make himself real in you and if you were to die today do you know for sure your home would be in heaven with Jesus because if you don't know that you can know that that's what the scripture says it says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death, but the gift that God has given, the gift of God, for God so loved the world that he gave, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And it says that whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And everybody's a whosoever. You're watching right now. You're a whosoever, right? Amen. So so I, I, uh, I, I did that. I said, share that with this lady. And then as I did, the power of God just began to flow into that place. She's like, you know, um, you know, before we, we even led her to the Lord, we began to, 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 to see, I saw she had an issue. She said, I have this thing called drop foot. I've never heard of it before in my life. She had this bandage kind of brace similar to what you would wear if you sprung your ankle. She was wearing that. And then um, she, she had to wear it in order to be able to walk. Because otherwise, she her foot was kind of like shrunken a little bit, or I mean, like shorter. Um, she had a, a, a gimp to her step. She couldn't stand up, do certain things. She couldn't do jumping jacks, things like that, right? And so the Spirit of the Lord came upon me, and I felt His anointing right then and there. And I said, in the name of Jesus, I laid hands on her on her foot. And as I did, the power of God came through that woman. You know, first of all, she fell down to the ground. And I felt like if you've ever watched Benny Hinn, I felt like him at that moment. I don't know why I did this, but I said, pick her up. The people that were with me, I said, pick her up. And I said, I said that that healing is now complete in the name of Jesus. She fell back over and I said, pick her back up. Pick her up. I said, what's God doing in you right now? Because I believe he's healing you. I believe he's touched you right now. What has he done in you? What are you feeling? And she couldn't explain the feeling. She just felt this presence over her life, the flow of the power and the anointing and the presence of God. She began to feel something going on. She couldn't explain. But then she was like, I feel like something's going on in my foot. I said, well, take that thing off and, and, and begin to do something you couldn't do before. Take that thing off if you believe God has healed you. So she took it off. She began to walk back and forth in her living room. She began to walk, you know, in her living room right then and there. And she's, I said, well, can you do that before? She goes, well, you know, sometimes I could kind of walk a little bit, uh, you know, without it. But, and I said, well, really? I said, so, so you could do that before sometimes. 
and you'll be able to do it a little bit better now. I said, but what couldn't you do before? And no sooner did I say that, she's like, I, I, she's like, I couldn't do jumping. And she stopped because she started doing jumping jacks right then and there. The power of God hit her. She was completely 100% healed of that drop foot. Never have to worry the boy, wear that brace anymore. Never have to worry about it. God touched her right then and there. Showed himself so real. She got saved. She got set free. She got healed in the name of Jesus. And the glory went all to the Lord. Amen? Amen. And that is why we do this. That is why we do this ministry. That is why we are plugging in. Because we know that if we can operate in the things of heaven and flow in the things of God and go and do the things that Jesus said we can go and do, we know that saves, that, that people will be saved, that souls will be saved, that the lost will come to God and that multitudes will come to the glory of the kingdom of heaven. And then when we go to heaven, we're going to see millions of people coming to the Lord um, with us and coming to heaven with us because of the fact that we took that step of faith and we took that going out and we took that and said Jesus you do the work you do it in and through us we're vessels you use us and we'll go and do and we'll see your might and we'll see your power and we'll see the amazing authenticity of your word come to, to, to pass the infallible nature of your word amen <laughs> don't mean me it's not me it's all I'm trying you. to cool you <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Oh, I'm telling you, we've got to get ready. We've got to be willing to do this. We've got to be willing to allow the Holy Spirit. And all the reality is, I'm telling you, I don't care if you don't believe this word. Get into it and believe it. He will show you. If you will ask him, he will reveal it to you. He will show you. I'm telling you because I know people are going to watch this. They're going to be skeptics. But I tell you right now by the Spirit of God, if you will plug in and ask the Lord to do it in and through you, he will go and show you of his power and of his might, and he will use you to shake nations for him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we can't pick and choose. And I shared that in that in the body of Christ on unity in part two. We cannot pick and choose any longer. <laughs> we cannot pick and choose as Christians what we want to believe. That is why the world looks at us the way they do. They cannot deny the power of God when it's working in and through us. But if it's not working in and through us, they can deny it all they want. Got a little bold again. But still love you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. If we are demonstrating and living the works of God, if we are demonstrating the power and all that Holy Spirit is and available to us, if we are going out and doing that what was being done years and years ago, and some churches do manifest that. There are a lot of churches out there that believe and operate in the Holy Spirit, and you see it. You see the operation of the Holy Spirit in there. You see people's lives getting touched and changed and the Holy Spirit you know, doing amazing works. But every body of believers should be doing the same. Every body of believers should be doing the same if we call ourselves Christians. I don't care if you're working in Comcast. Dave, come on, I'm calling you out. You can go and be a light right there in, in Comcast. And you know what you can do? You can go and lay hands on people and they will be healed as the Spirit gives you that, that word for somebody. Amen? You can be a conduit. It doesn't matter what you do for a living. Hey, Danielle. It doesn't matter. You can go and be a conduit. It's not just for ministers. It's not just for pastors. It's for all who call upon the name of the Lord. It's for all who call Jesus Lord. It's for any who believe. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Man. See, and I came into this thing going, God, whatever you want to do, you're going to do. So you're going to hear it today. I'm just saying. And I do that every single day, every single time that we come on here, we will be doing the same thing. Amen. Because we want our God, we want God's people, <laughs> even with pizza. That's right. And I can't wait to see here how in, 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 here in a, sh in a short moment we're going to be getting a, some of these testimonies on here and some of these uh, praise reports and things like that. So stay stay with us, Steve. I want to hear from you because see God can use us in any capacity that He sees fits, and I want His believers believing it. 
I want his believers plugging into the word. I want everybody that calls themselves Christians to really know and they can operate in the same giftings that uh, in the, as the Spirit wills. There are gifts and he gives them to us all accordingly to be able to do some. So we, should, we learned on that in the word this morning at church. You know, not everybody's going to be an evangelist, but a, a person delivering pizzas can go and still heal somebody. Amen? Because of the working power of Christ in us. I want you guys to grasp this. I harp on it because I want you guys to grasp it. Amen? And I don't believe I'm harping. I believe I'm speaking it through the, the Holy Spirit right now. I believe He's given me this word because we need to grab it. We need to hold it. And we need to take this with us. And it, and at the end, I mean, at the end of the day, it's part three, those souls, right? It's all about eternity. It's all about eternity. Everything we do from the moment we become saved is about eternity. Even the unsaved, it's about eternity, but their eternity is not secured in heaven. Their un eternity, unfortunately, is doomed if we don't go and tell them. If we are not a voice, if we don't go and let them know of the love of God, their eternity is doomed. So everything we do as a Christian is, is for some set of something that's going to happen for eternity. Every person we impact, every person we speak to, in some way or another, they are going to know of what we believe. And if we don't show them, then how are they going to know? If we don't reveal it, if we don't live a life in Christ, how are they going to know and how are they going to see and how are they going to come to the Lord? See, Jesus can show himself real to people. I've heard testimonies of people overseas that in remote areas that the, the vision of the Lord came to them. You know, and, and they became believers of Jesus, never having ever heard the word of God. And then somebody, sure enough, came as a confirmation, signs and wonders, right? Um, somebody of the word came and, and shared the word with them. And they said, man, I had this vision of this guy, Jesus, Right? So, so God can do that, and he will, but he also commissioned us to do this. He also commissioned us to go and grow. So, so we are going to go after the lost at all costs. That was part three. And then that international side of things, this is worldwide. This isn't just in Denver. That's why I tell you, if you're listening and you're a minister, if you're a pastor, if you're a preacher, if you're watching this you know, from, from Alaska or you're watching it from Florida, right? This is... Um, this is a nationwide and global ministry. That's why it's called WAMI, Way of Life Ministries International. And we shared on that the, uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, of how our, our, our desire to go and do this thing nationally and internationally is going gonna, is gonna to make a difference and impact the kingdom. As ministers plug into this vision, I'm telling you, you've got to get ministers on this thing and listening to the vision of this ministry because it, it will join us together and it will uh, cause us to be able to reach even more for the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. And, uh, and then that launching pad of, of letting people know, I mean, hey, you have a call of God on your life. That is great, and we want to support that. We want to plug people into growing in their calling and their giftings of God. We want to, to make sure that people have a way and an understanding. I've grown up since I was five years old being a Christian. I was set you know, on fire for God when I was five years old. I didn't know what it was called, but I knew I'd be a traveling pe preacher. That's what I, you know, I said in my testimony. I knew I'd be a traveling preacher. That's all I ever knew it to be. I was filled with the Holy Spirit at age seven, baptized and felt the fire of God, the, you know, the real tangibility, the fire. Because if, you, if you've never felt the fire of God coming in your life and the Holy Spirit baptizing you, I'm telling you it's available. And, and I did at the age of 12. Uh, and then again, at the age of uh, 14, it was just an immense way. It just came, you know, the power, fire of God, the power of God just came over me in my life. But see, the thing that was missing in all of that is I didn't know where to go with any of it. I didn't know you can grow in the things of God and then go into to churches and go in, and grow in Bible schools and all these other things. You know, I didn't have that guidance growing up. And so our goal and our desire in that launching pad side of things is as people feel the call of God on their life and they make it known, we are going to nurture that. We are going to grow it up. We're going to support them. We're going to send them out. And we're going to to uh, partner with, with uh, schools out there that we are of like-mindedness with, like RBI that we were talking about the other day um, and, and the aspects of their teachings. 
and we're going to pay for scholarships for them to be able to go. God is going to provide it every step of the way, every time, and we know that we're going to be able to do that and bless others to be able to be to be conduits themselves yeah. if they feel a call of God on their life, whether that's a business call, whether that's a ministry call. It doesn't matter. We want to help direct people in the ways of God so that they too can go in and be a light in the world. Amen? So... So that's a lot of vision. I know. I'm telling you. It's a big vision. A big vision. But we know that God is behind this 100%. We know that God is the one who has ordained it, who's positioned it for such a time as this. You know, we've tried it on our own, and it never worked. We've tried it before in the past, knowing God has a call on our lives. But you know what? There's a timing and a purpose for everything, and we knew that now is the time. It's been years in the making, but we knew that now is the time, and we will do this with everything that we have, and we're so glad that you guys took part of this this week and plugging in and took part of listening to every aspect of of this vision to share, and I'm praying that you've been blessed and you've been touched, not by words that we speak out of our mouth, but by the words of the Holy Spirit as he may be speaking to you as you go through this. So what we want to do at, at, at this point is I want to bring in people. I want, I want those of you that are watching, if you've got a praise report, if you've got a testimony, if you've got something that you want specifically that you feel like God is, is speaking to you right now that you want to share, go ahead and, and on there, um, I don't know exactly what button to push, but I think there's a way that you can, uh, Maria did it with us uh, you know, the other day, the first uh, part of this thing. Um, there's a way that you can request to be placed on video and it'll pop up on here and I can let you join in with us on video and we want to hear from you. So go on. Come on. Don't be shy. And, and you can also put questions on, on the uh, comments thing if you don't know how to do it via the uh, pop in here with us. Um, I want to see if that feature works on the pages. Where's my other phone? There it is. I'm going to see if I can join myself in in here, right? <laughs> so let's see. Um, we can see how it works. So we, let's, oh, that's not where I want to go. Let's see. Go to the page. Yeah, there you go. Not everyone is called go to Go ahead and read that. Maria says, not everyone is called to be a preacher, but we are all called. Hold on, i got to push the, uh, to tell the world the good news and baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good word. Oh man, so I'm getting a little bit of a of a delay with I'm checking this out. I think it's always a few seconds. So so I'm trying to see I've never done this thing where you can actually request a little bit of a delay with uh so funny, it's like three second delay. So Maria, I don't know how you did it before, but you know so if you want to join us try waving like uh let's see, I think if you do I don't know. Do you physically wave or do you push the wave like emoji? Hey, can you share with the people how to join us on video? How did you do it before? Is that feature available? Because <laughs> I've never done that on on anybody else's live broadcast. I've seen one other minister that does that. He invites people in um, to do that. Um, you know, we can even... Let me see if this button here does it. Uh, let's see. Ah, yes. Yes. There you go. So, you know what? I just turned that feature on. It was off so for some reason. Okay, so right, now, so now I just put on. I, I realized there's a feature on there that you can actually go and turn on to allow people to want to chime in. Um, so I, I just turned that on. Time. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I must have had it on um, the the one time on we did Friday. that last time. But uh, so if you want to chime in and you want you have something you want to share, Steve, I know you had mentioned. Um, I don't see the feature. Yeah, check now. That would be great because I think it should be on now um, in some way. I'm not a hundred percent sure on there but um go ahead and see if that that button is on there i'm trying to see it like if i can join in my pop own in and pop out, maybe. you know thing um let's see mm-hmm. there you go i know there's a way to do this <laughs> it's funny watching watching uh, i'm trying it myself on here and it's it's funny to see the Delays. after delay um let's see do you see it yet maria maybe you have to have it already turned on before you start the broadcast i don't know yeah i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure so oh wait yep there it's there now steve all right so so maria wants to hear from you steve so steve 
Um, and Maria, I don't know if uh, if you need to like type a comment that shows how to to tell us how to do it. But um, but uh, um, Steve, if you want to go ahead and okay, it's the green, it's the green button. button. There must be a green button somewhere on this live broadcast as you're watching us. So go ahead and and um, um, hit that Let's green button. Let's see. So go ahead and, and um, um, hit that green button. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> so funny. I don't see a green button. Well, it's on there now. I just don't know how to do it myself. <laughs> it's the green button. Steve, are you seeing it? I don't know if you're still on. Um, anybody else? I mean, this is open forum time, so so we're gonna just have you're gonna have the next uh, next to next the thumbs up to the thumbs up. So next to the thumbs up. I don't even see it. So let me let me come out of my Facebook. Oh, I don't think it was. I think it was because I the way I was on there. Uh, let's see. You can just click on that. If you oh wait, here we go. All right, there we go. Oh, Approve. We are. All right, so I'm adding you now, Steve. So <laughs> let's see. It takes a second for it to catch up, but we want to hear from you. So it's coming up, I think, now. You might have seen. Taking a minute. There, there we go. Connecting. Awesome. Hey. Hey, okay. So what I got to do here, real quick. So don't mind me. I'm going to unplug my microphone for a moment so we can hear you. <laughs> All right. Okay, so go ahead. I think his sound is turned off somehow. And is your volume on on your uh, thing right now? I can't. Uh oh. I can't hear you. Okay. Um. <laughs> this is fun. We're trying to get We're you on there. <laughs> You're learning. Um, okay, so let's see. Let me try something here. Bear with us. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to do? Sorry, guys. Go on your Facebook, see if you can hear it, baby. Just can anybody else hear us? Like, um, no? All right, let's see. Okay, so I think it's something on, on your end, Steve, because I'm watching it here, and I can hear us on the phone. So see if there's a volume uh, button. Maybe if you, I don't know if you have your earplug in. Maybe if you take that out it, and or disconnect that, it might work. Okay, so I think it's something on, on your end, Steve, because I'm watching here, and I can hear Yeah, I can hear you on mine. Okay. So see if there's a volume button. Maybe if you, I don't know if you have your earplug in. Okay. Jason can hear us. Maria can hear us. <laughs> In ears. <laughs> All right. So try uh, try unplugging your in ears. Like if you if you have. Okay. So 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 I dropped we dropped them now for now to try this that way. Because, um, yeah, sorry, that's not working there. Normally it does, so like, who else wants to try it? Um, uh, Maria, I know that you had uh, um, tried it before. Um, let's, let's test it real quick just to make sure, because I want to make sure that you guys get in. And I know this works. We've done it before. <laughs> All right, let's see Dave. All right, let's, let's approve you on there. Let's see if that works in. Give it a second. It takes a moment just to add you in here. Um, okay, good. I'm glad you can hear, Sean. Good, good. Thank you for that. And I saw Jason, you commented that as well. Um, so let's see. Maria, we'll get to you here in just a second. We've got Dave coming in now. And, uh, Jason came um, to Okay, good. I'm glad. Okay. Okay. Um, it takes a moment just to add. So, so um, I'm making sure that we've got there. Can't read it on you. There's already. Okay, okay. It's adding him. <laughs> I haven't played the like 
So Jeffrey, also you got to remember too, the, the connectivity on your guys' end, it's got to be good as far as the cell signal, um, whether it's, here we go, we got Dave coming in now. Hey, hey we got you hey. and we can hear you. So can you hear us? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Praise God. It takes a second to come in based on signal of our, um, of our, uh, uh, not only our side, but your side as well. So, so go ahead, Dave, what you want to share? Well, I just wanted to share that, uh, yesterday when you guys are praying over my ear this morning, uh, yesterday morning, it was lighter and today it's same thing. So it's going it's real light. I can barely hear it. Amen. Amen. It's great. It is great. <laughs> no, that is awesome. See, see the power of God working in and through. See, we're a, we're a firm believer that anytime we come together, first of all, as Christians, as believers, anytime that we come together as believers, that God is there in the midst. And as believers, if we put our faith and we plug in our faith with other believers, that we know that the power of God works and we know that his word is yep. true. And he's going to finalize that that healing that you are re, that are you are already receiving. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> I can tell. Yep. He's, I can tell he's touching you. I can tell he's working yep. in you. And, and I'm and, reading those verses. Uh -huh. I've been reading them verses too on the ear. Yep, I'm reading them all. Yep. Yeah, you do it every day. I'm telling you. I, we want to hear from you when that thing is completely healed in the name of Jesus. And we, Lord, right now, Lord, every person on this thing watching right now, you just lift your hands towards Dave. And right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, that Amen. your spirit Amen. is true, that your word is Amen. true. Amen. And we claim Amen. and we proclaim that complete healing because God doesn't do anything in part. He does it to the full effect in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that that ear is completely made whole and that in that course of time, that as that word was shared the other day, that he will have that complete healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. See, praise him <laughs> is part of that, too. We praise him. Every prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. So as we thank Amen. him, it becomes made into effect. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Amen. Thank you for sharing that. Anything else uh, guys. you wanted to share? No, that's it. Awesome. Everything's good. <laughs> you guys look great. You guys look great. Awesome. You do too, man. I'm proud of you guys. I'm really proud of you guys. Thank you. Thank you. We love you guys. God bless you. We're going to go ahead and hit that end now. And okay. And everybody else, the next people, come on. Amen. God bless you. So, so that was awesome. Man, That what a, what a testimony of the power of God working in already in, in, in Dave right now and touching his ear um, and, and doing that. Right. Um, mom. So we're going to approve... Just to make sure, I think uh, um, we're bringing in Maria Wilson I feel like now. A talk show host, or <laughs> and our next guest. Yeah, it's awesome. Hey, so that one came in really quick. Awesome, very cool. So let's hear you. Can you hear me? We do. Yeah. Okay, I just was trying to work this out. I'm kind of sitting here in my jammies, but. Um, <laughs> Right. You know, I just really wanted to make sure that everyone understood that not everyone is called to preach. And some of us feel like we're not bold enough. But since you prayed that prayer over me about being bold, it's like he tells me the words to say. Mm -hmm. And he helps me to say those words. So I just wanted to share that with you. And also, um, I'm looking forward to hearing Stay's testimony. <laughs> I know. I mean, so, so yeah, yeah. It, it's awesome. I really want to hear Steve too. We're going to give you a try again. So Steve, okay. uh, yeah, so, so thank you for that. You know, and and to, to, before we try to bring Steve in again, um, you know, I just wanted to share with you. Yeah. I mean, that boldness, you know, we can pray and we can trust God for that holy boldness to come in our lives and to bro boldly proclaim anything, you know, as he, as he gives us that guidance. I mean, like I shared yes, uh, the day before yesterday, you know, we should never even hang up on solicitors anymore. Give them an opportunity. To <laughs> they can't see you. So, they haven't you know, called me. Uh, they don't call <laughs> you I'm waiting to do that, too. There you go. There you go. So now I'm like, every time I see I'm like, I welcome solicitors. Now I might even start signing up for, for those things that you can sign up for just so solicitors will call me and we can get them saved. <laughs> Take me off your do not call list and put me on it. Call me every day. A different mm -hmm. person. I want to lead you to the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So thank <laughs> you for sharing that. We appreciate You're you. Welcome. God bless you. God bless you. 
So, Steve so Jay. Steve, before you try this again, we really, really want to hear from you because we know that was going to be impactful and powerful for people listening and watching. So before you try that again, so this time, if, if you can hear us, um, try to try if you're listening through it, uh, like a, a, a head or jack or like a wireless Bluetooth or anything like I had to unplug our um, audio, our normal audio. Mike. So um, that that makes the, the video or the audio better because otherwise we wouldn't hear. So maybe doing the same thing with you right now. So if you want to try it again, we'll try to bring you in and uh, see if it works this time um, and uh, and do that um, so that you can you know share your awesome testimony. I really believe that it's going to be something impactful and powerful uh, for us. So if you're still on and you're still able to to hear on our end, um, try that just to disconnect any audio that you have connected and do it just through your phone as is, um, and then we'll bring you on. Uh, while we're waiting on that, I think that might be from before. Oh, okay, Steve, so perfect. we'll take that one off. Okay, so, um, all right. He's got to be back on there. We can't do it. Perfect. Oh, Maritza's on here. That's so cool. I love Maritza. It's one of our family members. So, um, family. yes, yes. So who else has something that they want to share, that they want to talk about, um, that they want to, you know, whether it's a prayer request that you're believing God for, we are in agreement, everybody watching. And then we're going to bring this thing down to a close here because um, you guys have been faithful in joining us and spending time with us now. Um, so anybody else that wants to share right now? Hmm. Did she want to be at it? No. Anybody. <laughs> Don't be This shy. is your opportunity. I'm telling you. So, so while there, while people are thinking about you know things, and if they want to come on, we're gonna let you know that this is so. This this last five days has been amazing. Wednesday through Sunday. I mean, it has been impactful in our lives as as uh, ministers. I mean, it's been impactful for us to be able to share the vision because see, the more we speak the vision, we know that God is doing the work to provide and to open those doors and and keep praying for us in those things. Um, and and uh, keep doing that because we we definitely love the prayers and the support that you guys have been doing um, in those ways and um, definitely feel it too. Yeah, we can we can sense people are praying and we know people are praying and we we so much thank you for that. Seriously, that is I mean a huge a huge thing for us and um, you know so it's been impactful and and we've even been talking you know about that now that this ministry is we go. And launch this thing in August 19th and maybe even sooner you know as far as the launch itself is still gonna remain August 19th as far as the ministry the church itself and those things um, but even before then you know between now and then we're gonna be uh, doing something really special um, so in July on um, the week of the 22nd so the 22nd through the 29th of July is uh, we're going down to Tampa Florida and we're going to be part of a, of a camp meeting that's out there uh, being ministered to, uh, plugging in, soaking in the anointing of the things of God, um, just getting it. I mean, doubts, man. I mean, I'm telling you. I mean, it, people dunked. use people use so many different terminologies. I know that aren't scriptural, but we're going to get dunked in the Holy Ghost. We're going to get like full-fledged put in. We're going to dive into the river. We're going to jump in. We're going to get saturated. We're going to, let's see, what other words can we use? Uh, and not, get, you know, overflow overflown. We're going to be poured into so we can pour out. And we're just believing God for some big things to happen while we're there from the 22nd through the 29th. And that Wednesday of that week, or Thursday, excuse me, Thursday morning is when we get inducted into the ministry. Yeah, like licensed. Yeah. Um, so we, in, inducted for our, our license to be able to do all of what we're going to be doing in this ministry, to be able to go out and do these things. And um, so that'll happen Thursday morning. But what we're going to do, something special, is we are going to we're going to go on and actually every day from uh, from uh, Sunday to Sunday, as we're there and as we're being ministered to, we're going to join in live at certain points when we can, probably after the service, because we don't want to interrupt the service and the thing flow of God while He's doing what He's going to be doing there. But you know, but you know, but before and after, or at some points during the time we're there. We're going to be plugging in and we're going to be sharing with you what's going on while we're there. We're going to be letting you guys know so you can, because you're a part of this right now. 
If you're partnering with us in prayer, if you're partnering with us in giving, if you're partnering with us in joining our Facebook page, you are part of this ministry. You don't realize it, but you are. And we thank you for that. Because you're, what you're doing is you're plugging into soul. So everything that we do under in this ministry, everything we do for the kingdom of God, you are a part of it. I want you to know that right now. So we're going you know, to be putting that on um, every day while we're there from Sunday to Sunday. We're going to be going live at some point. Can't tell you the time nor the hour because we're just going to allow it to be as the Spirit leads us in those things. So if you're live and you want to jump, or, yeah, so be watching. And, and as you see us come live, you can join us. We'll keep the videos posted a little bit after, um, you know, uh, each day as we do them. So you can go back and watch them. But um, I'm telling you, God is getting ready to do some amazing things. And uh, we thank you so much for your partnership. We thank you for your prayers, for your giving, for your generosity. We thank you for plugging in to this thing every single time we're on. We thank you for being and watching what's going on in this ministry and partnering with us and plugging into it because God is going to continue to do amazing things in and through us so that we can be conduits to others and bring more into the gospel, more, more into the, of the gospel to the people and more of people into the salvation that Jesus said that they should have, you know, that anybody who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And we're going to continue to do these things. So, so we want to bless you guys and, and know that, that as you leave us this night, since I haven't seen any other comments or requests come up, um, desiring to join us uh, on here and share testimony, we're going to go ahead and bring this thing to an end. But I want to bless you guys before we go. Because we know that the Word of God says, and, um, and, and so for sake, just in case the, um, the microphones are not picking up as well, um, plugged it back in. So just for the fact of this, the Bible says that we bless and we can curse. And I want to bless. I don't want to curse anybody. I don't care if they're my worst enemy. I wouldn't want to curse them. And so I want to bless you guys right now in the name of Jesus. So where you're at, lift your hands right now and just, just begin to receive and just say this, Lord, say this after me, Lord, Lord, I receive, I receive of, all of all that you have for me right now. You have for me right now. I receive, I receive a boldness, a boldness, a fire, fire, and Lord, and Lord a touch from a you, touch from you, to be blessed, to be blessed in your name, in your name, so that I may be a blessing to others, so that I might be a blessing to others, in the name of in Jesus, the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. I, thank you, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for touching me, for touching right me. now, right now. Let your spirit, let your spirit make reality, make reality in my life, in, my life. in Jesus name, in Jesus name of all that your word offers, all that your word offers in Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. And I tell you what, right now I bless you all in the name of Jesus, that he will abundantly bless you in all areas of life, in provision, in health. Amen. Amen. In provision and health. I pray a blessing upon all who watch this in the name of Jesus, that you will go and that you will have boldness, that you'll be able to proclaim the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ to everybody that you go after. And everybody that God needs you to go to, He will show it to you. That you will be blessed in your comings and your goings. You will be blessed in your fields. You will be blessed in your storehouses. You will be blessed as the Word of God declares to be able to do great things for His kingdom. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. For joining us this week. As we have uh, really plugged in this vision. We love you guys. Thank you for the support. As always, you have the ability to, 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 to give unto this ministry. Anytime you see fit, you have that link here on the Facebook page. Um, as well as what we post at the bottom of this thing. But know this. We love love you. God bless you. And uh, thank you again for all your support and prayers. We love you guys. Talk to you again soon. God bless you guys. Love you, Jason. Love you guys. <laughs> love you guys. Look at all the loves. Fill in the loves and the likes, guys. We love you guys. We God bless you guys. Take care. And God bless you, Steve. Man, we got to get that testimony on at some point, brother. God bless you, man. Go deliver those pizzas and get people saved. Amen.
Amen. Give the power of God to go with you. <laughs> Amen. God bless you guys. Love you. Thank <laughs> you.